Morning. I've made myself a little grotto. Looking all Christmassy. Every time I've got me called this. <laughs> Either the kid next door screams or the dog that way yaps. This is not the best for me making this Christmas video. This is not the Christmas spirit Trisha's looking for. <laughs> Maybe this is not the right place. Uh, do not laugh at me. Get back to your editing. I'm just trying to be Christmassy. They're all out living the best lives in Spain, having fun. As you should, but I'm trying to make a vlog. <laughs> Morning, I'm in my grotto. So, anybody who knows me knows that um, my favourite thing about being a mum was reading the kids a bedtime story. Um, I loved it. Absolutely adored it. Every night, can even tell you what all the kids' favourite books still were. You can hear my elves in the background. I'll leave it on the front because it's funny. Um, and I'm not going to lose my temper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down and film in a little bit. This is not the time and place. Yeah, this is definitely not the time and place for me doing this. So I'll catch you all soon. <laughs> Good afternoon. So, um, in this little section, I want to read my grandkids' her story. Um and there's a few other kids watch the channel as well. Hi kids. So if it's not your thing, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. Just pre-warning you all. But I'm going to read a little story for the um, grandbabies. I hope you all enjoy it. Stay if you want to stay. If you want to bounce off, see you later. <laughs> but yeah, so come and um, my new little section called Tales with Trish. Hope you enjoy it. So the book is called the complete snow stories collection and the first story is called bear's first snow bear's first snow bear looked through his bedroom window at the gray sky autumn was nearly over and it was time for his long winter nap i can't wait to wake up and see the spring flowers bear said to himself he closed the curtains pulled back the covers and climbed into his bed it was so cosy that Bear knew he would sleep all winter. He was soon snoring gently and dreaming of the warm spring days. Bear slept soundly until he finally woke up to the sound of his alarm clock. Bring, bring. He sat up and gave a big yawn. Spring is here at last, said Bear, stretching out his arms up and above over his head. He rubbed his sleepy eyes and padded softly over to the window. Bear was so excited to see the bright blue sky outside when he opened the curtains. Everything is white! This doesn't look like spring at all, said Bear. I must still be dreaming. He rubbed his eyes again, but sure enough, snow covered the ground as far as he could see. Bear put on his dressing gown and raced downstairs. When he opened the door, a gust of cold air blew around him. He shivered and stepped outside. The sky wasn't blue and there were no spring flowers at all. It's winter. My alarm must have woken me too early, said Bear. His feet were cold and his teeth began to chatter. I'm going back to sleep until spring. Bear dived under the covers and shut his eyes. But just as he was about to drift off to sleep, he heard a loud shriek. What is that? He grumbled, covering his ears. When Bear opened the window, he saw Bunny and Squirrel laughing as they played in the snow. I'm trying to sleep, he called out, but they didn't hear him. They were too busy having fun. Bear stomped out into the snow again. Why are you playing out here, Bear asked. It's much too cold. Bunny wrapped her scarf around Bear's neck and Squirrel gave Bear his hat. Now you're ready for winter, said Bunny. Bunny and Squirrel showed the bear how to build a snowman. I'd rather be wrapped up in my warm bed, muttered Bear, whose paws were now rolling snowballs but by the time they'd finished, they hardly noticed the cold at all. Let's have a toboggan race, said Squirrel. They lined up at the top of the snowiest hill and zoomed all the way to the bottom. Ah! cried Bear as he covered his eyes and landed softly, but he was in a pile of snow. Bear looked around and saw Bunny and Squirrel whooshing down the slope, not far behind him. Bear wins, they yelled, and they all celebrated with mugs of steaming hot chocolate. 
I didn't know winter could be so much fun, said Bear. Maybe I'll skip my ne nap next year. Thanks for listening, guys. Watch out for the next story. Used to